Hey. <laughs> hey, my beautifuls. Um, so, um, without holding you guys for too long, um, the Lord wanted me to talk about, um, being the battle axe, okay? The battle axe. And I think where I want to take this, Holy Spirit, drive this, this vehicle, Holy Spirit, guide this boat, do whatever you have to do. What do you want me to start with? If you gave me three different things. So we're gonna start off. Holy, I hear you, Holy Spirit. We're gonna start off in the book of Jeremiah, uh, chapter 51, verse 20. I'm gonna read that to y'all, then I'm gonna go into the definition, and then I'm gonna go into the breakdown. Because I think that's exactly okay. Yeah. So Jeremiah 51, verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee I will break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Y'all, that was powerful. What he intends to do. Calling you, you as a battle axe. But before we even get into what, is it, what exactly it means to be um, the battle axe of your family. The, the battle acts of your ministry, the battle acts of your friends, the battle acts of um, the territory around you. We want to read what battle, the actual definition of battle acts is. So the actual definition of battle acts is a large, broad bladed axe used in ancient warfare. So just think of yourself as a large, broad bladed axe used in ancient warfare these are one of our weapons and weapons of warfare okay because i know that many of you know that you use your sword what is your sword it's the word of god and it can have favorable and unfavorable consequences so a double-edged sword is nothing to play with okay it could be either favorable or unfavorable you know it kind of depends Basically, a person that does not have effective prayer is weak spiritually. If you don't have effective prayer, if you're not praying and hitting them points, if you're not literally telling, if you're not literally speaking out of your mouth um, something that can build up and break down things, then you're not really praying an effective prayer, okay? Okay. Some of y'all are praying empty words, and God wants y'all to pray effective, okay? Effective prayers. Very direct, very precise prayers. And what you do when you're trying to pray an effective prayer, you go back to the word, the original word of what God is actually saying. The things that actually help build up things, and the things that actually snatch things, and the things that actually broke things and stuff like that that is being the battle axe of your family when you're literally sitting there trying to stand in the gap for your family sorry y'all i'm trying to multitask literally sitting there um standing in the gap for your family you need to be the effective prayer warrior in your family the word of God is a double-edged sword, but an effective Christian is like an axe. Let's not forget, an effective Christian is like an axe. You cannot cut down a tree with a sword, but you can cut down a tree with an axe. So don't forget that. Um, I use the word of God, the sword. Okay, that's good and all of that. But for it to become effective, it needs to become an axe. It needs to be able to chop things down. It needs to be able to war against the things that you cannot see. It needs to be able to literally break things off. It needs to be able to cut things off when it's time so that things, new things can grow. You understand me? So whoever... Whoever is a prayer word, it literally means to be an axe in God's hand. If you're a prayer word right now, 
you're, you, you're literally an axe in God's hand. Not only that, um, you need to be an axe that can, that God can use to tear down, to pull down, to destroy not only physical things, but demonic works. Of course, demonic works. So let this be literally a word for you.